Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to download and install the Safari web browser on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer. So Apple has stopped supporting the Safari browser for Windows back in 2015, I believe. However, if you want to go down a trip down memory lane and you want to download the Safari web browser, you can still do that today. I'm just going to show you guys how to do it. Like I said, a lot of websites will not work or load properly because it is, in fact, a very old browser at this point. I think the last update came out one or two years prior to 2015, so the browser might not have really been updated very much in the last 10 years to modern web standards. However, if you just want to download the browser, just play around with some of the settings on your Windows computer, you absolutely can do that. I just wouldn't recommend using the browser to access sensitive information like banking, and financial accounts. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. And we're going to start off by opening up a web browser. doesn't matter which one. So I'm going to have a link in the description of my video here, guys, to an archived Apple web page here to download the Windows version of Safari. So it's Safari 5.1.7 for Windows, and this is hosted on support.apple.com. This is just an archived version of the web page here. So we're going to go ahead and select the blue download button. And just give it a moment to download. It's about 37 megabytes in size. And once it's done downloading, go ahead and open up that file. And you can close out the web browser as well at this time. It's going to say welcome to the Safari installer. Go ahead and select next. You want to accept the terms of the license agreement and then select next again. And now you can uncheck certain options here, like you can uncheck the Safari desktop shortcut if you don't want to set that. I'm going to uncheck make the Safari the default web browser for all users. I'm not even sure if that would even work properly on Windows 10 or Windows 11, if it even would make a difference, if it even would be able to change such a setting. I'm going to uncheck Install Bonjour for Windows, and I will keep automatically update Safari because why not? Not that it really will make any impact, but we're going to go ahead and select Next here. If you want to change destination folder, you can. You can see the old Windows XP icon pack they're using here. Go ahead and select Install. If you receive user account control prompt, verify publisher should say Apple Inc. Go ahead and select yes. Select yes. I always like showing videos like this, you know, when it shows how backwards compatible uh, Windows can be. I mean, this Safari, I don't even think was officially released or supported during Windows 8 time. I believe they might have offered security updates, but I'm not sure there are any new releases of Safari since Windows 7 came out. So just to show that we're already on Windows 11 and we're still able to download successfully, it's quite something. So we're going to go ahead and just I'll check mark open Safari after the installer exits and select finish. And you can see Safari does load up successfully on our computer here. And it's a pretty straightforward process, guys, like I said. And as always, thank you for watching this brief tutorial. I do a positive help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.